Many people took to social media to share their condolences. University of Florida President Kent Fox tweeted, RIP Tom Petty, sad you won't come around here no more. And Gainesville native band sister Hazel tweeted, Growing up in Gainesville, we all wanted to be Tom Petty. He told the world our hometown stories, made us feel special, led the way for guys like me. Well, it's great to see everyone coming together, and it almost feels like we're getting a little bit of fall weather today. It was pretty cool when I went running last week, so we join Lee Southwick in the Weather Center to see if those cool temperatures are here to stay. Lee? Thank you, Lee. Now, the city of Las Vegas and the whole country is still trying to make sense of the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. The death toll stands at 59 with 527 injured. WUFT's Grace King attended a local vigil organized by a few Gainesville residents to honor those affected. Now, today, authorities are working to piece together what led to that massacre. So far, federal investigators have uncovered two pieces of evidence, a laptop computer as well as a video recorder inside Paddock's hotel room. A Florida law is now in effect requiring law enforcement agencies to add autism awareness training into their curriculum. The West Clinton Fair Interview Act sets standards for how police interact with people who have disabilities. The law specifies instructions on autism awareness training that may count toward continued employment instruction requirements for police. The Center for Autism and Related Disabilities Associate Director Arthur Wallen says that police will be prepared to deal with the needs of people with the invisible disability. The city of Gainesville is joining a nationwide initiative to lower jail populations. The initiative will tackle city practices that contribute to racial and ethnic disparities in our community. WUFT's Amanda Grohowski reports. And ahead on First at Five, President Trump visited Puerto Rico for the first time since Hurricane Maria. We'll have details on that trip. You're watching WUFT TV News. Back. Opioid deaths are rising in the state of Florida. WUFT's Andrea Guerrero found out how one community is trying to stop this epidemic from spreading. You UFT Newsroom, I'm Andrea Guerrero. Thank you, Andrea. Two weeks ago, Hurricane Irma devastated Puerto Rico. Today, President Trump visited the island to see how recovery efforts are going. And WUFT's political anchor, Grace King, joins us with more. Thanks, Grace. Well, earlier, Lee was telling us that this beautiful fall weather may not stick around. Yes, Lee, please tell us it won't rain on our parade quite literally this Friday. What will the homecoming weekend look like for us? Oh. Well, I'll bring my umbrella. Thank you, Lee. Now, the 2017-2018 Gator basketball teams meet the media for the first time today. That's right. WUFT's Sydney Jones has more on what was talked about. Today was annual media day for both basketball teams. When we come back, you'll hear from the team's head coaches about their upcoming seasons. Stay tuned. Sports is up next. Thanks, Sydney. And before we go, one last check on the weather. Thanks, Lee. We'll have an English update just before the PBS News Hour at 7. And our news team will bring you another show tomorrow at 5 o'clock. But your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org. Have a good night.